Anti Healy Gut Guy, and I have healed myself of candida and a bunch of other nasty gut conditions. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the best diet to heal candida. What is the what diet should you follow? We have lots of different diets over here. We have lots of different candida symptoms. Which one of these diets is the best diet to get rid of all of these symptoms? Um, now, before I reveal which diet you should follow, I have purchased candida from a lab and tested different foods on it and different antifungals on it. Um, you know, I've tested different how it combats different probiotics. I really know what I'm talking about. And what I'm, gonna, what I'm about to share with you is, is going to be it's something you've never heard before. So please uh, keep your mind open because what I'm about to tell you will change your life. It changed mine and it's changed many others. I've had people follow very strict protocols for years and you know they had nothing to show for it but when i showed them what i'm going to tell them in this video they, like literally all, all their food intolerances all their candida related food intolerances literally went in debt went away in less than a week so the big theory with candida diets is that the sugar that sugar feeds candida and makes your symptoms worse so what are the different types of sugar so you have like white sugar sources and then you have starch. Those are like the two big sugar sources that are just no-no on the candida diet. Is this really true though? So the thing is, I've seen people follow every single one of these diets, even these low sugar diets, the keto diet, the carnivore diet, the FODMAPS diet, the GAPS and specific carbohydrate diet. I've seen all people follow these diets and not get better all the while doing disinfecting and reculturing and they will still have symptoms. Why is this? And it is because um, uh, something called German New Medicine explains this perfectly. A doctor named Dr. Hammer, he would look at the brain scans of all of his patients and he would see if someone had acne, they would have a ring in their brain in a very specific location. If someone had toenail fungus or fingernail fungus, they would have a ring in their brain in a very specific location. If someone had rashes or eczema or psoriasis, they'd have rings in a very specific location. If they had arthritis, they would have rings in a very specific location and so forth. And these rings were caused by conflict shocks, stressful events that catch us off guard. So for example, in the gut, so let's say someone has candida in the gut. This is the, the conflict for this is we something there's something indigestible in our life. I can't digest it. This person makes me sick to my stomach. Conflict shock. It puts the gut into overdrive. The, the, the gut will develop extra gut cells. And when the conflict gets resolved, candida helps remove the extra gut cells. And if you study the terrain theory, terrain theory doctors or scientists, they saw that candida comes from our own cells. So your brain is controlling the growth of candida in your body based on where these, where these conflicts are currently. And so the way that candida like never goes away is like, let's say the conflict shock is like, I can't digest women or something like that, like, or I can't digest my romantic relationships. And then you, it's just constantly on and off, on and off, on and off. And so candida is constantly on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And it just stays there until the conflict gets resolved. Sometimes it doesn't get resolved. Um, and each, each one of these types of um, conflicts, they all have, or each one of these organs have different conflict themes. So if it's the private parts for a woman, it's usually a, some sort of a sexual conflict or a reproduction conflict. Uh, fatigue can be caused by multiple different things. Uh, brain fog is usually caused by some sort of a separation conflict, wanting to separate or an unwanted separation. Someone's torn from your arms like a pet, like, like a pet dies or um, a family member dies or, or going through a breakup or wanting to break up with somebody. Gut issues is something indigestible, something hard to digest, um, indigestible anger. Uh, rashes and hives, that's, that's going to be a, the separation conflict. Toenail fungus is usually um, is like your, your foot gets attacked. So like maybe stepping on a nail or stepping on a, 
a, a sharp Lego or something like that, or walking, having to walk barefoot through something gross, that can cause a toenail fungus. And then acne is caused by feeling attacked, having words thrown at your face, having someone saying something behind your back to get that sexy back knee. So th this is actually what's causing our so-called candida symptoms. So for acne, words being thrown at our face. Um, this is the, the, the body's developing extra skin cells to help protect you from this verbal assault. And then when the conflict gets resolved, candida helps remove the extra skin cells. So each, each body part has its own kind of system, how it works. It, it, it usually um, revolves around cell proliferation and then cell removal. And then the other, other pattern that it follows is cell loss and then cell restoration. But candida is gonna usually be involved with the cell removal because that, that's just how, how it works. Um, the vegan and vegetarian diet is absolutely terrible for candida because when someone has candida, their body is burning through protein. They need lots of lots of lots of protein. That is why I recommend whey protein powder for people suffering from candida because this will give your body the, the, the protein it needs to you know, facilitate all the stuff that's going on in your body. But the best diet you can follow is the Weston A. Price diet. This will give your body the, the amount of nutrients it needs to do what it needs to do. But these foods will never heal you. These foods can't heal you. Only your brain can heal. The, the, it's these conflict shocks, these unresolved conflicts in your life that are causing your organs to go into overdrive and candida is like the contractor. It's coming in there to help with the cell removal. It's like the garbage removal. Um, and so Weston A. Price, he was, a, doc, he was a, um, a dentist in the 1930s. He was a very successful dentist. And he wanted to, to see why primitives had such healthy teeth. And so he traveled the world and saw what they were eating. And they were eating just about everything, to be honest. But you know, they were eating very nutrient-dense foods. Nutrition is really a joke, guys. I mean, it's, it's ba basic addition. But Weston A. Price did a really good job observing what the, what the primitives were eating. So guys, that's it. Don't be obsessive, crazy about your food. View all food as safe and start looking for the stressful events in your life that, that were occurring around when your symptoms started. Um, I have a free 30-day plan down below. Uh, if you would like to work with me and my team, uh, I have something called the Rapid Gut Healing Program, and there are more details about that down below. Um, hit, a, hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. What do you think is the stressful event that started your gut issues? Uh, I'm Mike the Helio Gut Guy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.